On Christmas Eve, Santa Claus delivers presents to all the good girls and boys throughout the world. He has a magic sleigh and a magic bag of presents that and his Sorry I'm late. I got stuck in the drive through line of chick fil -A. Grab a sweater. I'm reading a Christmas story. Oh, you guys want to hear a Christmas story? When I was a kid, I heard all the traditional Christmas stories. But there's a lot more to Christmas than what they teach you in schools. Move it. What? No. Get out of my seat. There it is. There you go. You guys want to hear the real story of Christmas? Not really. It was a rhetorical question. Now let's begin. A long time ago on a little planet I like to call Earth, Mother Nature and Father Time got married, kissed, and had two boys. What does this have to do with Christmas? Next question arose me 10 push-ups. One boy was generous and jolly, the other was hot and fun. Was the jolly one named Santa Claus? Yes and that's 10 push-ups. And his brother was named Krampus. <laughs> Leo, what are you doing? I'm trying to make my guitar sink in with the story. Fine, but make sure it sinks perfectly with my story. You got it, big dog. One year, Mother Nature was going to give Krampus a jet ski for Christmas. Krampus took Father Time's El Camino without permission, and went to an Ugly Kid Joe concert at Red Rocks. Excuse me, when exactly does this story take place? Long ago. You owe me ten friend. So Father Time gave the jet ski to Santa Claus instead. In fact, Krampus never got anything that year, or any other year. Then, Krampus spent the next 1,000 years on the naughty list. The logic of this story doesn't add up. Krampus was so mad with his family that he ran away from home to the desert somewhere outside of Death Valley. Krampus drank Red Bull and energy drinks in the Death Valley, and grew jealous of Santa Claus. He also grew two word horns because of all the Red Bulls he drank, and the jealousy turned him into a powerful demon, a twisted annoying anti-Santa, who hated his brother and everything about Christmas. Where did you get this book and I'll take my answer as I do push-ups? I got it from the truth store because it's all true. Then one day, in the mid-90s, Krampus lured his brother to the desert with promises of fish tacos, motocross and illegal fireworks. But when he arrived all he found was an angry demon brother. Whose very touch can turn even the goodest boys and girls, into Christmas hating dill weeds. Santa and Krampus fought an epic battle in the ruins of Death Valley's once mighty outlet mall. But Santa defeated his brother and locked him inside an abandoned store called Punk Nation, that sold nothing but boot cut jeans. Some say that Krampus is still in that punk nation outside of Death Valley, binding his time, waiting for a chance to strike back at his brother and destroy Christmas forever. And to all a good night. I don't believe any of that. Krampus touch. Ha 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 ha.